when it comes to darkness do you know what darkness is i'm not speaking of the literal darkness i'm not speaking of this dark this black color i am a very uh, introspective philosophical person very scholarly i love to read i am very intellectual so i've always been the type of person who has been very sensitive i I've been the person who really gets emotional quickly, but I love to be in my own little world and I don't like to mingle with superficial people with whom I have nothing in common. So yeah, things get to me because I believe that I am a very pure hearted person, a very simple person who loves to be treated well. You know, I, little, I, don't, I, I can't accept people who are rude, who are mannerless, who are gross, who are just inconsiderate of others and who talk lots of nonsense i don't have patience for that having said that it's true that the more the more sensitive you are the more you are prone to negative not to negative emotions but emotions really are very intense you know sometimes for you and as an introvert i would call myself an introvert it's true that i have experienced this uh, this darkness numerous times and I, it keeps coming back, it keeps coming back. And I have noticed that the main issue is not the darkness. When I talk about darkness, I think you must have understood that I'm talking about depression, melancholy, despair, grief, things like that, which you really eat you up when you just, when you just feel like, what's the point of living? You know, you just cannot handle the suffering because it's so intense and it seems like life is so unfair and no one is caring and people are just, when you're not doing anything wrong also, People are ill-treating you. It's very, very hurtful, very difficult to digest. You know, you have to be very strong so as to become immune to that. Maybe, hopefully, Allah will make you, it will make me reach that level where I just don't believe in whatever people say to me, mean, horrible things. But my point is that maybe the real way of dealing with that, of going through that, of learning something from that is not to deny it. Because what happens many times, we, our society likes to pretend, especially on social media, people like to pretend that they are all very happy, they are having a great time, they are lucky, they, are, they have a perfect life, which is totally false. If it was true, they wouldn't be feeling the need to put it out there. But we live in a society where it, um, people have to be ashamed to say that they are not feeling well. It's true. Unfortunately, the stigma is still very much here, even after so many years. It's not the same as before, I would say. But it's still there. People don't just say and that you're. The, I am feeling depressed. When someone asks you at work or in a family function, how are you doing? You have a tendency to just quickly say, "Yeah, I'm fine," because you feel afraid and ashamed. Not ashamed, but afraid of how the person would res would respond. Unfortunately, again in this world, people who haven't been through that, people who are insensitive, who are un Sometimes not even a question of being sensitive, but sometimes some people don't have that uh, diplomacy, that tact to be able to, to deal with a person who is suffering mentally, emotionally, etc. So what happens is that many times in the darkness, we try to pretend that everything is fine, but when everything is actually not fine inside, we try to run away from that. And the moment we run away from it, the more it chases us. I don't know if you have noticed, but it's just, I, for me personally, I try to surrender to it. When I'm feeling very down and dark and just desperate, I just accept it. I try to accept it. I journal about it. I write about it. I try to derive some inspiration from it. And most importantly, as a Muslim, this is most relevant to you Muslims because we all, know, we all believe that when we are afflicted with sorrow, hardships, it's just a sign of love from Allah, uh, an alarm a wake-up call for you to become closer to him, to seek his help because, you know, you, you just feel like praying when you're feeling really down. When you feel really down, really depressed, like the first thing that you want to do, even if you normally are very slack in your prayer, which I hope you're not, is run to the prayer mat and just cry your heart out to God because no one else can help you. Of course, there will be friends who will support you, uh, doctors, acquaintances, well-wishers, etc. But um, sometimes the, the grief is so much that you don't even want to share it with a, with a common mortal being just like you. You need to communicate with your Lord because surely if He has given you, if He is making you feel like that lonely in a dark place, 
it must be for a reason. It's not to torture you. It's not because he doesn't like you. It's not because the, your life is over and that you're, you know, it, it's not like that at all. You have to learn to rephrase it, to reframe it. And yeah, so in my own case, um, now I tell myself when the darkness comes to, to visit me over and over again, I tell myself that this is actually uh, food for inspiration. It's an inspiration. It's, I can use that to, to write a story, to make an artwork, to write a poem, to study more about Islam, to help someone else, to help myself and maybe just to slow down and, and accept it and let it go. Why do I fight it? Why do we, why do we feel like we have a tendency to always uh, push, repress, deny whatever negative emotion that we feel. And it seems like Asian people, especially Asian parents, they have that tendency to just ignore the elephant in the room. And that is very unhealthy. It's very counterproductive. When someone is feeling anger, they, they need to express it when they feel angry express that anger when you feel bitter express it when you feel down express it don't repress it i mean you should cry cry your heart out do whatever you can which is legal and normal no, nothing exaggerated or violent here but just um, the emotion is actually a teacher i don't know if you read the the poem by rumi it's a very famous poem it's uh, called the guest i think Every, every feeling, every human emotion is a guest. Just basically what he's telling you is to treat it like a guest. You should uh, welcome any emotion the same way. For example, when happiness comes, you welcome it, you accept it. But when sadness comes and depression comes, you also accept it. You tell it to sit down and then it will live on its own. You don't need to push it away. So. Yeah, I am still struggling, still learning how to cope with some emotions because I have observed that whenever in my life I have started to become a better Muslim, I have encountered numerous difficulties. In fact, the more, the more pious and God-fearing and practicing I become, the more shaitan wants to throw my efforts down and he wants to manipulate me into thinking that, you know, Allah is torturing me, that this is something pointless that you know in all kinds of whispers he will keep telling in your ear i'm sure you understand what i'm saying it's not hearing voices but it's the whispers of shaitan because shaitan is really very evil he doesn't want you to pray he doesn't want you to wear hijab he doesn't want you to fast he doesn't want you to even be a muslim it's very scary but it's true all muslims believe in that and i'm i've encountered many people who have the same story the, whenever they have started making an effort, it's like Shaitan will do anything just to stop, just to, to stop them in their tracks. So you have to be extremely, extremely strong. I don't know if I can say unfortunately, but it's true that Allah has been testing me in many ways. Uh, and uh, there were many times when I feel like, you know, I just cannot, I, I can't. I cannot cope, it's too much for me. I, I, I wish this would be over. I wish life itself would be taken away from me. I'm not joking. I still feel this way sometimes, but then I have, I hope that I will become very strong enough to know that, you know, Allah is with me anyway. So why do I have to worry so much about what people say? Let them say there is always a, people who do good. I don't think that eventually eventually good things will come to you it's just the way it is you should not be afraid of being oppressed rather you should be afraid of not being the oppressor this is a very beautiful hadith that i read somewhere i think the thing is i keep reading so much information i have so many things which interest me which i want to share with you but i then when i start talking i go in all different directions because i have so many things i want to tell you but hopefully this is not a bad start and I hope that you will be you will be gaining something uh, from whatever I have shared with you. So thanks for being here. I will catch you soon very I will catch you very soon in another video, hopefully. So remember me, I will remember you.